Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to talk about uh, beyond CPCTC. So we're going to talk about medians, altitudes, and auxiliary lines, and we're going to apply them to uh, triangles. Okay. And the first first question is uh, the first part of the lesson is what is a median? Now, a median is a segment, a line segment that's drawn from any vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So a median is going to divide the opposite side into two congruent segments or it bisects the side to which it is drawn. So in this case I know if this is triangle A, B, C, I have the median from B to AC. The median will divide AC into two congruent segments. The median from C to AB will divide AB into two congruent segments and the median from A to BC will divide BC into two congruent segments. Now this does not mean that AB and BC necessarily have to be congruent or that the halves, let's say if this is D, that BD and this is F, that BD is congruent to AF. We also, uh, by definition, we also know that the altitudes, I'm sorry, the medians are going to intersect at a point called the centroid of the triangle. And that point is a point of intersection for all of the medians. And that point has some meaning in terms of the length of uh, the median itself. I know that <clears throat> the median from A to D, from point A to BC to point D, is going to be a certain number of units. And I know that the length from A to the centroid um, is going to be two times the length of the centroid to the other side. So there's a ratio from the vertex to the centroid and then from the centroid to the other side as part of the median. Okay, number two, altitudes. Altitude of a triangle is a line segment drawn from any vertex of the triangle to the opposite side. Now in obtuse triangles, you're going to have to draw that um, altitude outside of the triangle itself. So I have triangle ABC. It's an obtuse triangle. And in order to extend a line from the vertex A <clears throat> to make it uh, perpendicular to BC, I'm going to have to extend BC out in this direction. In the same fashion, if I wanted to draw an altitude from C to AB, I need to extend AB out in this direction. So I've created an extension of line uh, BC and an extension of line AB in order to draw the altitude. So the altitude doesn't have to necessarily be constructed inside of the triangle and uh, be perpendicular to the segment that is comprised of the triangle itself. You can draw an extension in order to draw the altitude. So again, that altitude is that line segment that's drawn from any vertex, so A, B, or C, to the opposite side, extended if necessary, and perpendicular to that side. So it means it forms a right angle with the opposite side, or the side that's extended. Okay, last thing we need to talk about are auxiliary lines. And auxiliary lines are lines which are drawn in a proof that do not appear initially in the diagram. So I'm going to take this out here because I drew this in when I created this proof. Um, so there's no line initially in the diagram from A to D. So I have two triangles, BDC and BAC. BDC is within BAC. I'm given that AB is congruent to AC. I'm given that BD is also congruent to DC. And I want to prove that uh, angle ABD is congruent to angle ACD. So this angle here, ACD, is going to be congruent to this angle here, ABD. Well, in order to do that, I need to draw an auxiliary line. What's an auxiliary line? A line that's not originally part of the diagram. So I'm going to draw that auxiliary line from A to D. Okay. Now I have that auxiliary line. I see that I have two separate triangles, BDA and CDA, that I can prove as congruent. And once I have that proof that they're congruent, I can show that angle ABD is congruent to AC, ACD as in David. So I write out the proof, statements and reasons, two columns. I say that AB is congruent to AC, that's given. So AB congruent to AC. <clears throat> And then I'm going to say that BD is congruent to DC. That's also a given. Then I draw my auxiliary line. And for this statement, I'm going to say draw auxiliary line segment AD. 
For the reason, I'm going to write two points determine a line. So again, for the statement, draw auxiliary line segment AD. For the reason, two points determine a line. Again, now I have my two triangles. I can prove that BDA and CDA are congruent by side, side, side. So I say again, AD is congruent to AD by reflexive property. That's the auxiliary line that I drew. Now I have BDA, triangle BDA, is congruent to CDA by side, side, side. So initially, I proved, or I was given that BA was congruent to AC. I was given that BD is congruent to DC. I drew the line, auxiliary line AD, which is congruent to itself. So now by side, 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 I have two triangles that are congruent. If those two triangles are congruent, I know by CPCTC that angle ABD will be congruent to angle ACD. So here we use the concept of an auxiliary line to add to the diagram in order to prove something that we're required to prove.